welcome everybody welcome back to the sunny shed um, I was supposed to be out last week um, going down to Kent to a place Operation Jackdaw it's an outside activity centre for X-Forces to deal with the mental health and things like that um, but on the Wednesday two weeks ago I was working over in York and I went to get up in the morning and I pulled me back. I was in agony. It took me three and a half hours to get from the lodge I was staying in to me ram outside. I had to crawl to it. It's still really, really bad. I can't walk properly. I'm on painkillers and God knows what. So decided I'd do a quick video in the shed just to get a video out there because I'm like I say, I was hoping to do the full weekend last weekend. It's not happening and it won't happen next weekend either. Mm. I need this back to get better. Needed an air cut as well, but I can't sit there in a the chair for long enough to have my air cut. So, what are we talking about today? Well, you might have seen it in the thumbnail. We've got this little kerosene stove. From AliExpress. It says it's supposed to come with a pack of wicks, a funnel, and an absorbent cleaning sponge. None of it was in it. Also, there's a little filling hole at the front, and there was no cap. Well, I thought there was no cap for it. So I went on AliExpress for a refund, and they refunded me straight away, but they don't want it back. So I thought, why not test it so that you lot don't buy it? Well, I might be surprised by it, but it arrived like this. It was just in a plastic bag, so it had been knocked around. It sounded tinny as soon as I opened it. So what do you get in it? Oh, you get the pot stand you get all these covers to go around the flame and then you get the main bit which is this now I've not filled it full of paraffin yet so I'll do that in a minute and I got this as well now this is the hole I'm talking about and I thought there was a cap for it missing. So I thought, well, that's rubbish straight away. Then I found this and I thought, well, what is it? It's, it doesn't do anything, that doesn't fit on there. Eventually, figured out if you push that down and then bend that, that'll go in there and it'll sit there as a cap. Not ideal. And then the bit on the end I thought well, what's that for? I figured that out as well. When you put it in there and it's full of kerosene this will get wet. You can light that and you can light these wicks. Now I've not lit them yet because this has to go on first and then this goes on or oh, that goes on first I don't know which yeah that sits over it and somehow you've got to light the flame so I'm thinking once this is lit you can put that down there and go around to light all the flames not ideal like I say so that's what that's for, I'm assuming, no instructions with it. And then that's got to go on as well. So once this is hot, you're going to put that on. And then obviously you link. got these crappy fold out legs. This does fit on a bit better that way. Yeah, you've got these crappy fold-out legs 
and I'm assuming that's if you've got a bigger pan you put them down and put your pan on top like that once it's together and white it looks pretty sturdy a couple of things you can't carry it in your backpack because this would come out and you'd leak fuel everywhere and you'd have to empty it while you're there but if you're using it for a few days on the camp I suppose it could just sit there quite sturdy so what I'm going to do in this pan we've got a Moroccan style beef stew ration pack best before and first 22 so it's a few years out of date and in fact the army stuck another sticker over whatever the end date was so god knows how old it is so we'll get some boiling water in that or some water and we'll see how long it takes to boil right let me fill it up with kerosene i'm gonna fill it through the top here because this comes out gives you a bigger hole to fill it now this is it says on the box something about smooth operating that's not smooth operating at all it's really tinny well let's see if it works see you can't get it up you're going to push that which you wouldn't want to do when it's red hot so I'll get it full of kerosene and then I'll bring you back in a minute uh, kerosene is actual paraffin from B&Q I think it was about seven, eight quid, something like that. Right, I'll get it filled up and I'll bring you back in a second. Hey right, people, what an ordeal that was. So, I filled it through the top because this little hole that side, because it didn't come with the funnel, couldn't get it in there. Trying to pull this in through the top, it went everywhere. But luckily I did it over the fire outside. Uh, don't buy this stove. This stove is dangerous. I filled it up and you'd expect this container underneath to be a sealed container apart from the hole at the side. As I was carrying it in here I tilted it and fluid just oozed out all over the floor. I've had to let it all evaporate before I start it. So it's a dangerous stove if you did that in a tent nah it's not worth the risk pay the extra buy a proper coleman's stove right so what i'm going to do is i've left the wicks for long enough to soak i'm going to light it with a little lighter around here and then I'm going to put this on top after. <coughs> it would just be a pain to try and light it otherwise. So, let's go. I think I might be better standing up for this. I have got a fire extinguisher. A powder one. Just in case. Ooh. There she burns. Put the lid on. I'm assuming. Assuming you've got to let it sort of bloom. That's it. This doesn't look 
safe to me at all. Yeah, I'm assuming a little hole at the top here that your flame comes out of that. Leave that for a few minutes. See if it does bloom. But this whole thing is. I was a bit worried about even doing it in here on the table because it's so unsteady. And with that leakage, if that leaked now, we'd have a problem on our hands. I don't even know how they can sell this over here. It says on the box, let's read some off for you. So this is the stove, kerosene stove, special features, better quality, enhanced durability, long lasting. Well, I date to have seen it before. High power blue flame. Mm -hmm. Save fuel, save money. Well, not if it spills out everywhere. Easy operation, safe for use. This is nowhere near safe. There is some heat coming off it though. Smooth wick system providing better control. This is your wick system. And it's not smooth at all. Glad I got my money back off it. And I think once I finish with this, I'll be chucking it in the bin. Export quality. Blue flame, no smoke, fuel economy. Best cooking efficiency. Yeah, if you see this, like I say, I wouldn't buy it. Mm, yeah. Wow, there is some heat coming off that. See if I can. Definitely some meat coming off it. Right, let's get this on. And I think we'll start a timer. Right. Put the water in here. Should be enough. Forgive me, yeah. my dog. He's talking to the neighbour's dog. Right, that's in there. Put the lid on. Get her on. Start the stopwatch. There is a blue flame coming out the hole in the middle. And it does seem to be working already. So, let's see if I can turn it down a touch. As far as it'll go. If you got it outside, I'd say, somewhere sheltered, doesn't matter if you spill a bit of fuel, then yeah, I think it'd be alright. I can see some smoke around here somewhere. Maybe it's just burning off the paint off this thing. Okay, I'll bring you back when we've got a boil on. Right, 
Right then, people. Oh, fumes are flattling, they're horrendous. But it did cook my food fast. Let's see if I can get this out of here. I'm not burning my hands. Get a knife. A taster. So a few years out of date, but best before date. All right, let's try this baby. Mm-hmm. Well, I can't fault the rations. They are beautiful. <coughs> A bit of special A bit AAB powder. taste combination is like <laughs> that's made it mm. no salt on the bottom there Bring about when I finish this. Oh, that was nice. Mm. Could eat that again. It was beautiful. Moroccan style bean stew, spiced tomato stew with chickpeas and cannelloni beans. 
Yeah. I'm gonna be special for those. So, what are we thinking? The stove did the job, did it really efficiently. Don't think it used that much fuel, but I don't know. It is highly dangerous. If you had that in your tent and you went to pick it up and move it, it would just pour out. I'll put a video of that up here so you can see how much it pours out. You wouldn't want it in a tent or a caravan or anything like that. Um, it's a little bit rickety and as you saw to blow it out when you blow it out you get this extreme vapour coming up went in my eye actually yeah quite powerful so I'm glad I didn't pay for the stove because I'd send it back even if I'd used it um, so yeah don't go out and buy it buy a proper stove a decent one not worth the risk cheers I'll see you next time guys hopefully with a better back